Hi everyone! So I hope you guys aren't getting sick of me because I've made like two videos already today and actually if you count the one in the morning this is going to be my third or fourth. Yeah, anyway, so this was, request, blah, 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 blah. this was requested by Bethany744. She wanted me to do a video on products that I regret bu regret buying. And I love watching these kinds of videos, so I'm really happy that she wanted me to do one. And her link will be right here. And, okay, so the last time I used this bag, it was stuff I liked. Now it's stuff I hate. Funny, isn't it? Okay, let's get started, because there's kind of a lot. Okay, number one is this Fresh Sugar Lip Gloss. I thought it was going to be really pretty, but I think that it was a waste of money because it cost a bundle of cash. It was really expensive. Um, it was a good amount of money, and it's so sheer that it doesn't do anything. It looks like a clear lip gloss on me. Like, look. Look, that lip doesn't even give any color. Look at that. It's just like clear. It's like I'm not going to pay over 20 bucks for a lip gloss that looks like something I can use with like Vaseline. I don't know. Next, okay, so I just made a review on the Neutrogena Glow Shears. This is like what CoverGirl's version of that. And this is the first... Oh, my dog is scratching on the door. Okay, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, what do you call my cupcake? There she is. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> okay. I bet if she knew how to talk, she would be saying hello. I love you. So cute. Okay, so this is the CoverGirl Smoothers. It's called CG Smoothers. SPF 15 Tinted Moisturizer. I used this once and it broke me out. I was so mad because it was a complete waste of money, but it's drugstore. It's not like it was like Chanel or something. So, so yeah. So that's number two. Number three and four are both mascaras, and these were big hits in YouTube world. Everyone, like, loved these two. But I really, they did not work for me. First is the L'Oreal Clean Definition Telescopic Mascara. This was really bad on my lashes. It clumped like crazy. Then, the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. Really bad. I was so excited to try it. It smells like roses. It smells really nice. It's a little strong, but that's the wand. And I'll show you the wand of the clean definition. There you go. Okay, sorry. Um, next is, um, I got two Jessie Girl quads like this. And the first one I got has, like, some greens and browns, and I really like that one. But this one I do not like. I don't like any of those colors. Those pinks and reds look really bad on my eyes. And this white, this color is actually kind of good. Like the white, let me swatch it. That's a really pretty white. But I really... Like, I don't like these two colors. This is the Jessie's Girl Bejeweled Eyeshadow Quad in number 432A4. So, I do not like those two shadows. Then is a MAC Nail Polish in Seasonal Peach. This I got, I think, with the... I forgot what it was called, like, Cream Sheen, I think it's called, Collection. And I liked the color at first, but when you put it on, if you want a solid color like that, you're going to need to put more than one coat on. And then you put so many coats on that it looks gross and chunky and really, like, disgusting. So I do not like that at all. Next is this lip gloss. My mom gave it to me, so I didn't buy it, so I didn't waste any money, but she sure did. And now I'm starting to see why she gave it to me. This is the Bare Essentials Buxom Lips. And remember I was telling you guys how I, I don't think I told you guys this, 
but I always wanted to try the Bare Minerals lip gloss. Not Buxom, the other ones. It comes with like a black top, a kind of like curvy black top, and then it's just like a regular tube. I always wanted to try those ones because they look so pretty. Like, they look gorgeous. So I always wanted to try that, but I guess this was the first lip gloss I had to try. This is in amber, and it has a doe foot applicator. And it's a really pretty color, but it's a plumping lip gloss, and I hate plumping lip glosses because it burned my lips really, really bad. So that's a no-no. Next is this. I got this in my Rose Romance Haul Blush of Youth Beauty Powder. I realized... Okay, this time I'm ignoring you, okay? Okay, so it's in Blush of Youth... And I do not like this because I like the beauty powders because they give you a little bit of color. But this barely gives you any. Like, I'm rubbing this so hard. And look, barely anything. You swatch it, nothing. You have to go like, I'm using my elbow right now. Look, barely any color. It's terrible. Then... This is a brand that you can get at Whole Foods. It's called Mineral Fusion. And this was the first makeup brand that I started with. And I loved Mineral Fusion. But this I do not like. This is their um, pressed base, a.k.a. pressed foundation. And this is in Warm Number 1. And I do not like this because it it's, like, really cakey. No matter how you put it on, it just, it's cakey. You... That was weird. It, like, looks really cakey on your skin. And that was the first foundation I ever tried. So I didn't really know. And then I started going out in public, and my mom was like, what's on your face? And I was like, mineral fusion foundation? She was just like, you look gross. <laughs> I was like, thanks. Okay. Moving on. Um, this Wet n' Wild Jumbo Juicy Flavored Lip Balm. I just don't like the scent of this. This is a really good lip balm, though. This is in Kiwi Strawberry, which is like a fuchsia pink. It goes on... Don't want to know what that sound was. Um, it goes on clear, and it's a really good lip balm, but it smells... Oh, so strong. And then... A Revlon lipstick. I really hate nude attitude, but that melted. <laughs> it was funny. Anyway, but then I was like, okay, well, maybe I should try a lighter peach. No. Bad move, G Bonita. This is in the Apricot Fantasy, and it's one of the pearl lipsticks. I really don't like this. It looks like mustard on me. Gross. It looked really pretty when I swatched it. Then I put it on my lips, and it looked, like, gross. Then is the Benefit Lemonade. Um, this is a waste, because I got it originally as a base, and it dried out. Like, like, it's, it's dried. And I only got it for, like, a week, and then I was like, Ew, I'm gonna use it today! Ha Ew. Like, that's what happened. Like, legitimately, that's what happened. Yeah. And then, last and certainly least, is the Mary Kate and Ashley Sequined Sparkling Powder. I got this when I was little, and I kept it. Don't know why, but I kept it. And it's like a blue glitter, but this glitter... No matter what you do, you can spray it with you can spray it with five different kinds of Fix Plus, dip it in ten Cottonelle baby wipes, like I don't know, get your brush as wet as possible, and this will not stick. It'll just fall, and it bugged me. Of course, when I was little, I was just like la di da di da. I didn't really care, but now I care, and this bugs me. Okay, so. Thank you for that request. I was really happy to do it. And those are all the products that I regret. And the next video we'll be talking about some Victoria's Secret eyeshadows that I came across the other day. And I really like them. So I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great night. Ciao!